my experience with Amawili started because I was already in South Africa and Amawili had started in Ireland um, as a result of a training, a successful training of two schools. And I was in South Africa at the time and I was um, offered the job to be the coordinator and to start selecting schools in the Eastern Cape and KZN and also in the Western Cape. I work mostly in Cape Town in the townships. Our schools vary in standard of infrastructure and they also vary in, I suppose, the different types of education that are being given to the kids depending on the skills that the teachers have. So our role is very much with the township schools, supporting them, enabling them to achieve what their goals and visions are. The first school that we worked in, thankfully due to the generosity of Irish donors, um, they were able to approach the department, um, which enabled them to get an IT lab and IT is a very big focus in the Western Cape. The department wants to roll out IT and computer labs into every school, which there's over a thousand of them, and Amawali is definitely seen as a partner in that process. Our role in twinning is to use that technology so that the kids can communicate with the, with the other children in Ireland uh, in a fun way and in a way that gives them practical skills that they can use throughout their lives. Bungaletu Primary School is one of our schools in the Western Cape which strives to give the best education they can to their learners and give them great opportunities. In the township, it's, um, school finishes at about two o'clock and unfortunately um, there isn't many activities for, the, for children um, to do after school. Bungaletu approached us, Amawali, looking for our support. Would we be able to assist them to provide an after schools programme to their learners? They do arts and craft, uh, traditional song and dance. There's um, a food gardening program. We've had some huge success this year and I'm very proud to say that our traditional song and dance kids won a competition which enabled them to go to the Baxter Theatre. It's uh, a wonderful venue. Most people who live in the townships will never probably get to the Baxter Theatre, let alone perform in it. So they performed magnificently and we were all very proud and it was a great day and a great day out for everybody. I was working with Accenture in Dublin for the last three years after I left college and I decided that with my fiancé that we wanted to go working abroad and through one of Amawali's board members we um, discussed um, moving to Kokstad in South Africa near the Drakensberg Mountains. It took us a while to settle in and understand the different workings of a development organisation rather than our previous companies in Ireland. So after initial um, understanding of the area and how the organisation worked, we then found ways that we could use the skills that we had learnt to help the organisations develop further. Over the course of the year, as I got to know the school a bit better, that you do find that there are um, issues there. For example, their toilets were very bad condition and very bad, badly maintained and that there is overcrowding in the classrooms, that there is huge under-resourcing of equipment at the school and they also had a huge problem with children in the area having to come to school hungry which obviously would affect their concentration levels. It was a kind of contradiction in that when I got there everything seemed beautiful, it was a gorgeous day, the kids were so happy but then over time you kind of just see that there are the issues underneath that um, they would have to deal with every day. Well I've always been very interested in NGOs and working for a charity and before I joined Amawele I was working with Irish Aid in Development Education so I wanted to look for an experience overseas. One of our school's sailors gift, the first time I went to visit it, I was really quite shocked at the contrast between um, Coxstad and the schools in Coxstad and my house, say, and our office, which has Wi-Fi and full electricity and laptops and so on. And then driving outside of Coxstad, 15 minutes down the road, there's a school that is consists of two rondavels, which are the mud structure with um, a thatch roof. And they have no electricity, no running water. They use rainwater tanks to collect water, which means that during the winter, which is the dry season there, the school has no water. The children, the meal they would get from school every day is usually quite low in nutrition. Um, they just get one food delivery a week, so if they get vegetables, um, they're, you know, they're gone by the start of the week. 
a lot of the schools have actually tried to grow their own vegetables to supplement the feeding scheme. And one of the projects that Amawele is doing is, is assisting the schools with their food gardens. So we've brought in a horticulturalist and helped them to try and expand their, their garden so that they'll actually um, provide for the children during the day. The focus of Amawele is to teach students in Ireland about South Africa and um, the different circumstances and different culture there and again for the students in South Africa to realise there's more than Coxstad and um, the Drakensberg Mountains around them. Mm. So I think the focus point of Amawele is very positive and uplifting that people are sharing experiences and we aren't trying to cure hunger but I think what we're doing is very effective and um, will have an impact on the children's that are in the school and have been open to these experiences on both sides and determining what they do with their future. One, two, three. Oh, I'd like to thank you very much for your very kind and generous invitation to come here today to launch the South Hill Local Education Committee partnership with Emma Whaley and South African Schools. There are five schools involved in the project and the children range in age from three to 18 year olds basically because we have four, there are four primary schools and one second level school involved. Our own school being a junior school, we cater for three to eight year olds. We are a very small school reflecting the decline in the, 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 people, the number of residents in the community. Um, our community has been ravaged by uh, the fallout from feuding, criminal activities. Um, people, many, many families have left. We're like a little oasis in the community for them, so I suppose we can identify very readily with the pupils in, in the townships in the sense that you know, their lives are very, very difficult. While they're different, they're still, there's a similarity in that they have a lot of issues to deal with and we feel it's going to be very good for our children to um, have an opportunity to, to, to a window out into the broader world and the wider the wider community to see that there are other people out there having you know having difficulties but overcoming those in some ways as well and that there are opportunities you know to to foster development and to, to progress the whole development program it depends on the goodwill of people and that goodwill from the Irish people, that legendary generosity uh, that we are known for right throughout the world, that comes from an understanding uh, of the problems and difficulties that people face throughout the world. Uh, we in Ireland understand things such as hunger, uh, poverty, because of our own tragic history, because of our, of our own famine uh, over 150 years ago. Uh, but we need to educate young people that there are more serious problems in the world than the ones we face. The highlight of my time with Amawele and living in Cape Town and in South Africa is, the, is, is meeting all the different people, um, particularly South African teachers, um, the children and the parents. The welcome you get from South Africans when you come visit their school is phenomenal. They open their hearts and they open the door and they want to be connected to us. And they also are so proud. They want to show a different angle about South Africa. I think we tend to stereotype South Africa um, that it's poor, that, it's, uh, that nothing's going on there, that they're not changing or it's not developing and that there's an awful lot of crime and violence. I believe we have a very negative picture of South Africa, but when you go there it's completely different and they want to show the other side. They want to show the Irish and show the world and I think by using the Irish we're the, we're the first point, whoever comes next is a bonus, but they want to show us the talents, the skills, the passion they have for their culture and their language and we're just one of the many friends who can actually make it possible for them and I believe with Emma Whaley we're definitely giving youngsters the chance to see South Africa in its own right, not just another part of Africa, but a country separate with its own identity and a country that actually is, is developing in its own way. And with our support, hopefully, um, we can be just one of the many friends that help them to get where they want to be. Mm -hmm.